Inside episode 34 on Outsourcing Life, I invite the CEO and owner of Live to Sell Group back on the call to share with us some tips on why you should use virtual assistants to build niche websites to generate income. Plus, in the insider info, I share with you a tip on how to get your face shown next to the Google results. Some powerful stuff. So let's get straight into it. Want to get tons of leads from YouTube without breaking a sweat? Outsourcing you. Uh, go again. This is Outsourcing Live with Tyrone Shum. Outsourcing the hard stuff so you can focus on the fun stuff. Hey, hey, welcome back to the next Outsourcing Live podcast. So excited to have you on today because I've got another amazing interview for you. Somebody who I've already interviewed before on this podcast, but I thought I'd get him back onto the call because he's got something else that he wants to share. So before I jump into that, let me just share with you as well what I'm going to be talking about inside this podcast and also just a quick update as well with regards to what's been happening in the last couple of weeks. All right, firstly, my update on what's happening this last couple of weeks is I know you probably have noticed that I haven't been uh, being able to put a podcast out last week and this one actually has been a little bit late in comparison to the schedule that has been going on and there's been a lot that's been happening in, I guess, my life and also what's been happening inside the business. I've been recently just launching and speaking and also doing a lot of different projects behind the scenes. I usually don't talk much about these but I guess now that I wanted to share with you what's been going on. I do have a, an SEO company that's behind doing lots of different projects for clients, local clients around the local area. And recently, I did a webinar with one of my great friends who is online and I, I actually shared with them a specific strategy on how to be able to optimize and get, say for example, their business websites on the first page of Google. Now, that's been going really, really well and I had picked up a lot of new clients in the last couple of weeks. So my goal was was really just to focus and help these clients get themselves up and away. And I've been also putting better systems in place so that my team can manage this whole process. So pretty much that's why I've been really, really busy focusing on that and helping that. In addition, as I mentioned in the last podcast as well, is that I'm going to be traveling uh, overseas for the next few months. So therefore, it's really, really crucial that I do have these systems in place and streamline it even more. So, I've been working very, very closely with a lot of clients as well. And in addition to that, (laughs) I've been having a pretty much up and down kind of weekend and week as well because my car broke down, unfortunately. I was actually going out on the weekend, taking, uh, picking up and also purchasing some medicine for my wife who was a little bit sick on the weekend and also just doing a few errands to return a few things to my friends. And unfortunately, when I got to one location, one suburb, I had parked my car there and everything had been running fine. The car was smooth and, and so forth. And after picking up and purchasing the medicine, hopping the car, I tried starting it up. And unfortunately, the car just didn't start up. And I thought, oh man, I hope I could just jump start it and ask someone next door to be able to help me with that. And luckily, there's this really kind man who was just parked next to me and I just asked him, would you be kind enough to start up my car? And he said, sure, you know, I'll give you a hand. And I have to thank him so much. You know, this guy who lives locally, he just gave his time to be able to spend with me because when we tried jumping start in the car, it didn't work. So, it pretty much just spent many, many hours trying to fix up this problem because we thought, okay, it's a battery, it's, you know, so forth. But it wasn't that and he offered to spend a bit of time to go and get a brand new battery for me because we thought we could replace the battery and then hopefully jump start the car. And after a long, long few hours, he, he bring his tools around, driving me around to ask uh, different petrol stations to get a new battery. He, he was able to spend that time with me getting it fixed. But <laughs> unfortunately, after that period of time, uh, it didn't actually get any of it working. So, I had to end up calling NRMA to come out and get me to help. And for people who don't know who NRMA is, it's just basically a, a on-road uh, a side assistance that comes out and just either replaces your battery and fixes your car for me. For, for you and funny thing is is that he thought that it was also a battery as well when he came out to replace it and this guy was really helpful as well and after a long long period of trialing and, and testing he said to me oh i think it could be your fuse because you jump started and it looked like the car won't start up so unfortunately you're gonna have to tow it down to the local mechanic and that's going to be an extra cost here to do it to be able to fix up and i thought oh man 
could this have got even worse? <laughs> it, it just got worse and worse and worse. And then for some reason, he he tested it by just putting the plug par- parts back onto the battery and said to me, I said to him actually, could have that actually been something else? Could it not just be the battery? Could it be just those leads? And he said, oh, well, what we could do is just let's clean up the leads and see if we can get it to work because the leads were really, really corroded. There's just all this stuff that was around and I thought that's a bit strange. And we're hoping that by cleaning up those leads, you'll be able to get the car stump, uh, jump started again or get it working. And funny enough, we just cleaned up those leads and after cleaning it up and getting to almost new and getting all the corrosion off, plugged it straight in and the car got started up. I was like, wow. And he said to me, your luck has changed. You know, your, your whole day has just turned from bad, from worse to good. And I was like, yes, this is awesome. And I just have to say the reason why I wanted to share that story with you was because just I had so much going on and I could have just given up and I could have just said to the Lord, you know, because I'm a Christian believer, why is this happening to me? Why did you do this to me that day? Why did it have to be at that point? Because I was out in the hot sun, I was just sitting sitting there hoping to be able to get these things done and it just delayed me by about three hours or so and my wife was sick at home so I had to get back to her quickly and, you know, it turned out that... I had met a great person who was able to help me that was a local resident and he's just been so grateful and God put him into a place where he could help me. And on top of that, I had also met a really great mechanic who was also like my savior. He just fixed things up. He was really cool about it. He was really helpful. And I think sometimes just things like that just makes me wonder, wow, you know, maybe it's just you got to experience the bad things to be able to relieve, to become and see the good things. And I just wanted to say that if anything like that happens to you any you, you know if, if something like that happens to you and if you see someone else on the road who has broken down or has had an incident or any trouble then help them you know that's what i'm really really encouraged by because i want to be able to help other people in the future if they do break down or have an accident or anything like that and not to just drive straight past and i could have done that as well and i recently i did see someone break down so i opt out and help them so i just wanted to share pay it forward and just help others and make sure that, I guess, don't just walk by because somebody could be in need like myself that needed some help and I was just so grateful to these people that have helped me. All right, so that's what's been happening in the last week. It's been up and down, been really busy. I've been having a lot of projects coming on but not only that, I've also had some great people coming to my life to help me when I needed it the most and that was something like that. Okay, well, that's for what's been happening with me in, in the last couple of weeks. But in today's podcast, I wanted to share with you and bring Chris Ducker back from Virtual Starfinder and also Live to Sell Group to talk about how he's been able to provide a brand new service called WebPA. And you can check that out anyway. I've got a link down in the podcast on the show notes talking about that. And what I wanted to get Chris onto the call was to share with you a little bit more about what this service is about and also how you can use virtual assistants to help you build and also run and generate income from niche websites plus any other project work that you might need like graphic design or you might need a virtual assistant to do like a one-off project to handle some stuff for you. This type of service that Chris is offering right now can actually help you do that and it will share with you some more insights on why and how you can do it as well for your own business. So, let's just jump straight into it and Chris will show you a little bit more about why this service could be potentially for you. Well, virtual staff finder to, to cut to the chase and put them in two different baskets because that's exactly what we need to do. Virtual mm-hmm. staff finder is your matchmaking solution. It's for busy entrepreneurs that are looking for full time or part time home based virtual assistants here in the Philippines. And your web PA <clears throat> is more along the lines of that project based outsourcing. So, where you need a one off task taken care of and you don't need to hire. Uh, you don't need the, the requirement of a full-time member of staff. <clears throat> Excuse me. But your web PA came about mainly, just like a Virtual Staff Finder did actually, where mainly where there was, there was a gap in the market and people were getting, I guess, let down more and more and more by these job posting websites where, let's say, for example, pure, pure example, you need an ebook designed, created, and put together for whatever purpose, whether you're going to sell it, whether you're going to use it as a list magnet, 
whatever the case may be. So you've really got only two or three different options. The first option is to do it yourself, which is fine. The second option is to go onto one of the job listing websites and post your job up there, get a load of inquiries back, and work with somebody on that project until it's finished, and then pay for it. The third option now, because of your web PA, is to hire my company, who is obviously here in the Philippines. We have the facility, the infrastructure, the, supervi the supervision, the training required, and all the rest of it, um, and have that ebook then created on premises here. Whereas, obviously, if you work with a virtual assistant, and particularly if you've never worked with them before, there's a lot of guesswork there. You don't really know how good the person is, what their background is like, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> so it really takes out a lot of the guesswork um, and a lot of the, uh, the running around, so to speak, in regards to trying to find somebody to do that one-off project, project for yeah. you. So um, it kind of to, to simplify, <clears throat> basically, if I just wanted to get like a graphic done for... I don't know, my logo for my website, all I have to do is contact you and it's just a fixed price and you just send the work over and they just do it. So it saves me having That's to it. hire someone, find that right person yeah. to match that kind of stuff. It's actually, it's less headaches for anyone like me and you yeah. just get the one-off job and that way yeah, it's, and it's always going to be the, consistent the, pricing too. Exactly. The, the prices don't fluctuate up and down like it will do if you work with a freelancer. The other thing though is, you know, there are other companies on the internet doing that sort of thing. Um, you know, there's tons of different websites out there that, where you can buy a logo or you can get an ebook design or whatever the case may be. But what we've tried to do is we've tried to package our product listings very strategically so that they all match each other and can cross sell against each other. So, you know, or we're, cross we're kind complement of, rather than cross sell. <laughs> You can use whatever term you want. The fact <laughs> of the matter is, it's a one-stop Stop shop. Yep. That's what it's all about. So, you know, whereas we're, we're gauging more towards the online marketers, people that have online businesses, uh, blogs, you know, niche sites, whatever the case may be. As a niche site, for example, you need to get a website design. You need to populate that website with good quality, keyword-rich content. You need to promote that website using SEO, and uh, you need to make sure that it looks good as well, hence the, the graphic design and things like that. So all those things can be utilized under the Your Web PA uh, service. Yeah. So, for example, this would be a, quite a good a question that people may raise up anyway. Why would I not then hire my full-time virtual assistant to do all that instead? Because they may have skills of the graphic design, they'll be able to set up the site, they'll be able to write content for me, all that kind of stuff. Why, don't, why should I go through a service like that? Good question. And there's a very, very simple answer to it. It's very rare to find one person mm. that can do all those things. And I was having this exact same conversation with a consulting client just last night. He wanted to have a virtual assistant to do web design, web development, because they are different, mm. and SEO. <laughs> and I, said, well, I, said, I just said to him, well, let me ask you this question. And his name was Mike. I said, Mike, let me ask you. If you had something wrong with your electrics at home, would you hire a plumber to come fix it? No, obviously not. If you need a website promoted, you hire an SEO person, not a graphic designer. Yep. Likewise, if you need a website built, you hire a web developer and not a content writer or an SEO person. You know, they, you know, there might be a little bit of background knowledge there that might cross over a little bit. But ultimately, they won't be able to do the job as well as somebody who has that skill set as their primary skill set. So that's what you get. Like, for instance, with our niche site creation package that we put together, we have the graphic design, yep. we have the web development, and then we have the content creation all into one package. But one person doesn't work on that website. Three different people, maybe even four different people will work on your niche site. So we'll design the logo and the graphics. We'll put together the website itself and develop it, and then we'll go ahead and write the content. So we've got a team of people within the facility that will all work on that one project. That really, really sounds really good. <laughs> it, it's very much like then what Tim Ferriss talks about from the four-hour work week to go out and hire a team of people and make sure right. that instead of just hiring one person to do one task, you hire that team who has a supervision of team of people around there so it covers all aspects. 
Now, some people might think, wow, this is going to cost an arm and a leg to do and hiring that many members. Like, how much does something like this cost? Well, I mean, that's the other thing because it's a fixed rate. Um, you know, we do what we need to do to complete the project to get it back to you. Mm. Um, obviously, I mean, there's pre, you know, there's preset parameters there. We're not going to work, you know, a hundred hours, you know, on a niche site, for instance. A niche site shouldn't take somebody who does it all day, every single day, that long to put together. Yeah. So, I mean, for instance, a niche site creation package is three hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. Okay. So you give us your domain name, you give us access to your server, we design the website, we develop the website, we'll even put your Aweber form in there, you know, put your AdSense code in there for you and everything. You'll then, um, uh, we'll then pass that website across to the content developers, uh, the content writers rather. They'll then produce the content based on your niche keywords that you've already given to us at the beginning of the project. We'll write all the content. We'll put it all into the you know into WordPress. Get the website 100% ready to go, and then launch it for you. So you literally provide us your keywords, any kind of guidance as to a color scheme that you might want or something like that, and we'll build it all, get it all together, hit the publish button, and make it go live for you. It really is a kind of a a push button type of service. Except it's requiring people to set it up for, for them. It doesn't oh, yeah. necessarily mean it's just going to be a template which you put on uh, for no. the site. Thing is though, like for example, if I wanted a particular design or I want a particular structure for the site, is there certain requirements that I can put into this or does it have to go by for what you guys say? We have a, we have a set of templates. There's about mm. four or five templates that we have in place that we obviously use over and over again. Yep. But those templates are tweaked for every single project. They don't all look identical, obviously. So they all have separate color schemes. They all have different logos and all that sort of stuff. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. These are templates that have been put together, tried and tested, and work for niche site marketing. So they're not just any old web template that we've grabbed for free off the internet. Um, they, are, they are niche sites that have been put together and used before, either by ourselves or by some of our other clients, that truly do work in regards to the ad placements and all the rest of it. So they're kind of tried and tested. It's, I mean, I'm not saying that you're going to get instant wealth overnight or mm. anything like that, <laughs> but they are, you know, there's a lot of the guesswork is taken out of it in terms of you know, where to place your ads to get the highest click-through rates and all that sort of type of thing. So that's pretty much covered on that side. You could actually say that if you look at it from this perspective, if you're a company or business, you could even just approach you and say, Chris, can you just design the website for me? I'll pay you three fifty, get my logo up there, get a landing page or my opt-in form and contact us page and I'm done for 350 bucks. I've got myself a yeah. good, brand new website. If that's, if that's the kind of website that you want, is that more of a brochure type of company website? Absolutely, without a doubt. We also have another package, which is our personal branding kit. Mm. So personal branding kit includes a uh, blog design and creation where we do work a little bit more closely with the client on the personal branding elements, obviously, in terms of how they want themselves to be seen on that blog. Um, it also includes a Twitter background, and it also includes a Facebook page set up as well. All with the same branding, the same color schemes, the same logos, the same images. It's all about that consistent branding across all those different platforms. Mm. So that's another package that we have. Uh, and that's only $450. So it's still under Yeah, it's still, still under, under $500. Bucks. I mean, to get, to get a professional website done, especially here in Australia, I mean, we have a web development business. We charge our clients at least $5,000 just to be able to create that really, really high professional website that converts and also helps our clients. So for tenth tenth of that price, you know, I might be losing clients because of you. (laughs) Well, I mean, again, but but here's here's the thing. These are not e-commerce websites. They're not super, you know, flash-rich websites or anything like that. Then I wouldn't class them as a corporate website. They're more along the lines of either a very simple niche site design, and you you know you've done niche sites yourself. Mm. You know the type of sites that I'm talking about, um, or they are, you know, very much kind of brochure company sites for very small businesses, or they're personal branding type of blogs and and that sort of type of thing. It's not you know anything 
phenomenal for you know big corporations and stuff like that yeah definitely no I, I totally understand that and i just thought that was actually a good point that you raised because for listeners on this call if you are looking to going to build say a niche site and for people who don't know what a niche site is it's really just targeting a specific niche market that is has a potential for you to generate some residual income or passive income from a sense of building some ads and selling some products and that kind of stuff and chris basically chris's team basically takes that hard work technical aspect out out for you and also even building the search engine optimization which we call SEO component is something that they can also take over and do as well and I guess the reasons why I'm talking with Chris right now is I'm just sort of delving into finding out exactly what he can offer and provide for listeners like yourself and also for customers who are interested in doing this because both Pat Flynn and I, uh, when we did the niche site duel, that took off in terms of so many people wanting to get niche sites done and this is where the service sort of fills that kind of gap, doesn't it? Yeah, and you mentioned the SEO side of things there as well, which is obviously incredibly important, not mm. only from a personal branding standpoint, but also from obviously even more so from the niche side of things. And we have two different SEO packages. We have a part-time package, which is basically 20 hours a week, and then we have a full-time package, uh, which is 40 hours a week. And I want to clarify, again, this isn't one person working on your website. Mm. So this is a team of link builders. This is an internal or an on-page optimizer and an off-page optimizer as well. So it's a team of people. It's not just one full-time VA working on your SEO. It's a team of people who are all experienced in their own chosen skill set and trained by my trainers in that particular skill set all working on one project. Um, and actually, the SEO package is one of our most popular along with the niche site creation. And a lot of people are buying both at the same time because it's all very well having a niche site with lots of great content on it, but unless you perform SEO on it, it ain't going to get to the top of Google and you ain't going to make any money. So it's like anything else in the world. If you, you get out of it exactly what you put into it. And if you want your niche site to be a long-standing you know, uh, money maker, passive income generator for you, you need to invest some cash and some time into it. And a lot of people have no problem investing the money, but they do have a problem investing the time. Yes. And that's exactly. where the service can help out, obviously. Yeah. So, I mean, I personally and Pat personally, we spend a lot of time into all this as well, creating the search engines, optimization or SEO aspect and building all those backlinks. And it takes a long time. I mean, I. We'll not do it again because it takes that kind of time to invest into it and our time is obviously worth quite a bit there. But we did it as a test so that we could see and show people what's done and what's involved. Now, if you followed us on that, you obviously would know. But what I wanted to do as well, if you don't know much about SEO, maybe Chris, if you wouldn't mind sharing exactly what they would do for these niche sites, like what does your SEO service packages offer? Well, again, it there are, there's actually no difference between the part-time and the, and, and the full-time service except for the fact the amount of time, the amount of hours it's That's invested it. into it. And we usually suggest no more than two websites to be optimized by any one package, yep. basically. Ideally, you want to have one SEO package for one website because that means it's getting all the focus. Of course. But there's a number of things that we do. I mean, first and foremost, we do a complete SEO audit on the website. That's right at the beginning of the project. So we'll go through, you know, everything from, you know, meta tags and title tags on pages and posts right the way down to alt image text and all the rest of it as well. So everything is covered across the board. Tweaks will then start being made on that stuff. We'll also then do additional keyword research because regardless of how much keyword research you've done, there's probably a buttload of long tail keywords that you can utilize to get tons more traffic mm. to your website than maybe even your primary keyword is giving you presently. So we we'll really utilize long tail keywords big time. Um, we do a traffic analysis. We do a complete inventory of any competitors that might be out there that are going yeah. after you. Check yeah. out what they're doing as well. Um, and uh, then you know we, we work on the ten primary keywords that are given to us. Uh, from the client or you know after our audit we'll present to them and these should be the 10 that we focus on um, and we you know we work very hard on putting together uh, and let me say something we don't use any tools this is all manually done so all the links are built manually everything is put together from the team member standpoint not using software or anything like that uh, but bottom line is um, 
you know, we, we, we work towards 40 different keyword rich landing pages um, focused on those 10 primary keywords. So the, there's plenty of scope there for additional traffic. Um, there's an average of 250 uh, very high quality links built um, every single month. That's obviously cut in half of the part time package. Mm -hmm. And then we also provide um, uh, weekly task reports so you can see exactly what's going on and what we're doing to be able to gain that additional traffic as well. And I should add that the Your Web PA service, although it was only launched in December of 2011, was actually in beta for close to a year in a very loose format, mainly based on um, client requirements. Um, it was on a very, very heavy beta for six months prior to launch where we were fine-tuning all our internal processes in regards to training and development of the staff and managing of the processes and how we work with clients and all the rest of it. So even though it's only launched a couple of months ago, it's actually almost a one-year-old business that has been consistently updated and improved on the back end, mm. secretly, privately. You know, we're talking 007 shit here. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Right? We, we can't see. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're going to drive that Aston Martin up and just go, hey. Yeah, baby. There you go. But no, this is, this is really stuff that, you know, we've really fine-tuned heavily over the last six to eight months particularly. And, uh, I mean, so far, you know, we launched a website in December with one testimonial on it. Now I think there's a good 12 or 13 up there. And they're all real. You know, whenever I put a testimonial online, I always include – an image of the person that's given me the testimonial along with a link to their website so that you can even reach out to them and say, hey, was this real or are you just helping Chris and his company out? You know, because every single testimonial for me is like, you know, a great big, you know, kind of pass sign on an exam almost. And you can't be social proof. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, testimonials, especially from clients who've done through a year, giving what it is, they can contact them and find out exactly what they've done. So yeah. how much does something like this cost for like a part-time or, or full-time kind of SEO? Part-time SEO, 20 hours a week, $545 a month. Full-time is nine ninety five. So it's about a grand, which is really, really reasonable for, for building that. And it is. If you bear in mind, if you hire a full-time SEO virtual assistant to work out a home, you're probably looking at paying around about 700 bucks a month, somebody yeah. who really knows what they're doing, yeah. right? Who, who's got the experience. But here, yeah, okay, you're paying almost $300 more, but you're not just getting one person. You're getting a whole you're team. Getting, and the management and the supervision and the facilities and everything that goes with it. So it, for me, you know, depending on how serious you are on the SEO side of your business and how important it is for you, 300 bucks is nothing if it's going to make you X amount more thousand dollars every month. You oh, know definitely. what I mean? I mean, that's the thing. You, that's the reason why you outsource. You get someone else to do the work so that way you can still make some money from, from doing that all that kind of work. Normally, for example, these clients that you've taken on, have you got an average time of how long it might take their sites to get onto the first page of Google? You know, it... It really depends, and it also depends on what keyword you're talking about. Obviously, some keywords are going to climb up the ranks in Google faster than others. I mean, you know that yourself. Yeah. So, I mean, usually within, you know, usually going into the middle of the second month, you can start to see some real difference in the traffic because we also utilize a lot of the long tail keywords, like I said, as well. Yeah. So, um, but usually, you know, for, for, for a primary keyword, by the third month or so, You'll be on the first page of Google nine times out of ten, um, and then you know it, it's just a matter of you know sticking with that SEO and making sure that you continue to focus on it to push it up further on that first page. But a lot of people think that you know they can just do SEO for a month or two, mm. and they get maybe they might get to the first page of of Google and then they'll stop it. That's the worst thing you can do, yep. because you've already built up the momentum. It's kind of like a steam train. You know, when you start a steam train, you're putting all the coal on the fire and it starts to pick up speed and it starts going down the tracks, you know, you know at a good rate of speed. But the moment you stop putting coal on that fire, the train will start to slow down. Likewise with SEO, your keywords will start to drop down the rankings. Exactly. And then the train will come to a complete halt and you've got to start all oh, right. over again. And you've wasted all that time, all those resources, all that money. Whereas if you were just to keep throwing coal on that fire, 
your keywords would be doing that much better. And it's a good analogy to use. A lot of people can understand that analogy, that steam train analogy to business. It's like anything else with marketing or sales or growth or whatever. You know, the moment a company stops growing, the chances of it growing even further is pro probably pretty slim. It's that gradual, steady growth that I look for as a business owner myself. If I grow overnight, it scares the living bejesus out of me. Yep. There's something wrong there. But if I grow steadily over the course of a year or two, that's golden. I mean, I love it. When I started my outsourcing company five years ago, we started with seven employees. I now have 320 five years later. And that's been very, very steady growth over that period of time. And that's the way I like to see it. Yeah, I think everybody should probably look at it from that point of view and uh, that means that there's consistency and also you can be certain that things are growing, growing correctly as well. Right, right. Really, really good points there that you've noticed. I know we've sort of digressed it and talked a lot about SEO here because it, it is important and I, I also am very interested in this as well and that's what I do and help with clients locally here but it was really good because it really shows transparency through exactly what your company does and I think people want to use the service. It's very important and just as you said, it's a consistent effort. It's at least a minimum of 6 to 12 months because it's a medium to long term strategy that you need to put in place for SEO. So, that's really good there. One thing I wanted to find out is say for example, uh, if, we, if we go through a project, one project that you send over to you, how long is usually a lead time? Like, Let's not talk about SEO because SEO is on a monthly basis but right. one project that we send through to you, for example, a niche site, how long are, are we expecting to get a return? on the completed project? Niche sites we can normally knock together and put out within 7 to 10 days, maximum, absolute mm -hmm. maximum. And the difference between the 7 and the 10, because understand obviously, I don't have 500 people building niche sites. Yeah. So there's a job board and they're all put on that job board at a first come, first serve basis obviously. Um, unless, you know, I guess if you know like, Bill Gates wanted a niche site built or something. I might stick into the top of the list, you know, look after Billy. Um, but it, it, you know, first come, first serve basis. So there's always some in the funnel. There's always some going out there. But the difference between the seven and the 10 days is actually your niche. It's the articles. If the articles require a little bit more research on them, if they're a little techie or maybe kind of legal sounding or financial based or something like that, then we might have to put a little bit more time and energy into the research of the mm. articles themselves. Because we try to make the articles as kind of info-based as possible or less kind of essay reading, if you know what I mean. So it's not just, you know, if we were to do a, a niche site, say, on, uh, I don't know, the importance of investing in commodities, we wouldn't just talk about how important it is to invest in commodities. We'd no. break it down. We'd look at some of the different commodities and how they performed and things like that. So, it, it, you know, we really try and make the content as useful as possible. Google loves that, yep. as we all know. As we know, yeah. And, um, you know, it just enables you to be able to make more money off your site in the long run. And I, I'm a big believer. Everything I do business-wise is with long-term in mind. I don't think next quarter or even next year. I think three years, five years down the line. And I think everybody should change their mentality to online business, to that exact business model. Because, and we were talking about, you know, the difference between Offline, offline kind of brick and mortar online. businesses yep. and online. Yeah, everybody is like, I want it now. I want it today. I want it today. I want it today with online businesses. And I think that there's about to be a major shift in online marketing's or online marketers' mindset that, or, or if they don't make a major shift in their mindset to that more long term business strategy, they're going to get left behind. Yeah. Because that's going to be the difference between people who are really crushing it online and those who are just fly by night, kind of, you know, I'll make ten grand on that and screw screw the customer service yeah. sort of thing, and you know. Let that go. So, yeah, that's it. So, you know, that's that's really the big difference. And I think that if people have that long term mindset, regardless of whether they're building a niche site or opening up, you know, a, a spa and a salon and a high street, if you have that right mentality, you're only going to have that much more success as yeah. an entrepreneur. No, that's good because well, the reason why I ask that is 7 to 10, say for example, you're getting 10 clients a month, then it ramps up to 50, then 100 clients a month which would be great for you. Is that something that's for your team because now you've got the infrastructure in place, is that something that will continue to be 7 to 10 days or will be in a shorter lead time or a longer lead time? What happens It's there? hard to tell. You know, It's hard to tell. Yeah, well, we're still in 
I, I wouldn't call it the infancy because we've mm. been doing this for over a year, but it's still early days. Um, right now, we're averaging, I think we're averaging like eight or nine niche sites a week yep. in terms of people signing up for them, which is a great number. So you're looking at like 40, let's say a maximum of 40 oh, niche yeah. sites a month. Um, and I currently have, I think I've got four full-time web developers in, in the facility here. So, you know, it's, finding the people is not the problem for us. It's never been the problem for us here. Um, and as a local employer here in the Philippines, we have a excellent track record and a fantastic reputation. So people want to come and work for me and my companies here. Um, I look after my staff. I pay them what they're worth. I pay them on time. They get their benefits and everything else. So, and they have a really nice facility to work out of as well. It's kind of a. I mean, I've seen it myself. You know, with yeah. the camera that you took me around. Right. So. <laughs> so it's not you know it's not a dump. You know what I mean? No. So no, finding not, the staff is not a problem. And and the bottom line is that you know we can certainly handle any growth that comes our way in the future. That doesn't concern me in the slightest. Well, that's great because that's what people want to know. <laughs> I, I, I'm, sure. I, I'm certain about it but for listeners who are listening to this podcast, they obviously want to make sure that, oh, if I'm going to invest my website or invest my money actually for you to build a website, will it get delivered? You know, seven to ten days as you said there right. and it's promised. That's what we all want to know. Is there any guarantee? And that's one of the, well, I was going to say that's one of the scary things when you outsource it to freelancers that you have no idea where the hell they're working from. Yeah. They could be working from web cafes. And exactly. Then- your, your stuff is not secure on most PCs. I can say that right now. So, you know, it's it's more of that kind of, yes, it's a little bit more expensive than maybe than working with a freelancer, but that security blanket is there. A professionalism is there, the management. I mean, the first thing, regardless of what anybody signs up for, whether it be an ebook or an SEO or an niche site or whatever, the first thing that happens after we get your order is that you will get an email welcoming you, welcoming you on board from my senior project manager who then manages the other project managers who then distributes the work to the rest of the team. So you already know immediately, and, and we say within a 24 hours you'll get that email. Usually it's in, during the week it's usually within 12 hours. Yep. But during the weekend, nobody works. Of course. So if you sign up on the weekend, you won't hear from us until Monday. But yeah, just that first initial reaction from, oh wow, this is a personalized, and it is personalized, it's not a template, it's a personalized email saying, welcome, we're here to help you out. You know, we're looking forward to working with you. That right there, you wouldn't get working from a freelancer. No, you know definitely what I mean? not. I mean, you're, you're providing a, a high level of service here that people oh, yeah. are going to be coming oh, yeah. through. So with the kind of work that you, they're sending through to you, is there a guarantee behind all this as well for the service that you'll be providing? Yeah, I mean, you know, depending on the different things that you want, there are a certain number of, of revisions that are in place and things like that as well. But ultimately, you know, if we write you 10 articles and you don't like the articles, we'll rewrite them. You know, I'm, I'm not one of those guys that's going to say, well, we wrote the articles. If you, go, if you want another 10, you'll have to sign up again. You know, is there an actual guarantee on the website anywhere or something? No, there isn't. But I'm a legit business guy. I'm not here to rip people off. I'm not here to piss people off. I'm here to do a, a good job for them, to help them grow their businesses. And that's why I've been in the outsourcing business for 10 years. I get a kick out of helping people grow their businesses. It's plain and simple. And so, yeah, if they're not happy with something, just let me know. I'll correct it. Simple as that. Sounds good. Sounds good. Chris, I'd like to also ask you one final question. This is something mm-hmm. that I'd like to find out and, and for you to share as well is with your web PA, what are the, some of the, say, tips you can give to, say, people wanting to use this service and how to go and approach this the best way? Well, depending on the service, that you sign up for, obviously. Um, you know, we'll break them down real quick. SEO services, make sure that you, you know what niche you're in and maybe even do a little bit of prelim keyword research and things like that as well because it helps guide us into the right, you know, down the right alleyway, you know what I mean, yep. in, in regards to knowing exactly what you want. Um, and, and, and this can actually be said for all of the different job specs Put a job description together. Whether you feel it's 100% right or wrong, it doesn't matter because it gives us guidance and that's important. We'll ask you questions and things like that anyway based on the type of service that you sign up for regardless. But if you do that little bit of homework and you spend that hour with a cup of coffee in Starbucks just writing things out or typing them out on your laptop or whatever, it really does help us at the beginning of the relationship, which is important. You've got to start off on a good footing. So that's the SEO stuff. 
Niche site, again, bit of keyword research. Think about how you want your niche site put together. Like we had somebody sign up for a uh, something to do with the silver industry, buying and selling of silver. Oh, okay. So right. they said that they, they, they wanted their, um, they wanted their uh, logo to have you know, things like you know, necklaces and silver rings and things like that in their logo, which we did for them. Um, that certainly helps any color schemes that you might like the idea of and things like that personal branding kit which is really something to get very popular people are into branding themselves online now they know again it goes back to what you and i spoke about i think in the last podcast episode yep. that we did where people want to do business with people that's right so the personal branding stuff really comes you know it's becoming very popular so again any images that you might like us to incorporate of yourself or your you know your business or whatever if you're a speaker or a coach you might have some really cool images of yourself on stage uh, which we can in, in, you know, infiltrate into the design of the blog, um, that sort of type of thing. Uh, in terms of the article, obviously, you've got to give us keywords. We're not mind readers. We need a list of the keywords that you want us to work on. Um, and you know, ebook design, color schemes. If you've seen an ebook that you like the look of, send, send us that ebook. We'll, we're not going to copy it for obvious reasons. We don't want to get into trouble or whatever, but we can use it as a basis as an, as an idea. Mm. For us to be able to help put your own ebook together, so they're basically you know the different product, products or services that we're offering right now, and over the course of the next twelve months, we'll be rolling out very steadily uh, different services as well, such as logo design, which is very very much so that you've got everything that's there. It's so yeah. easy. I mean, you just send the information that you need, let them handle the rest, and your team will be able to put it all together for you, which yeah, is amazing. It. All right, well, Chris. Amazing tips you've given here for the last uh, few minutes as well and also it's a real pleasure for you to be able to share all this with my audience because I'm sure that there are plenty of people out there who want to outsource, don't know where to go, who to trust, what kind of information to be able to get, the, get to so that they can make the right informed decision and I believe that your service is provided for them. Now, I'm going to provide a link for you if you want to go and check out Chris's service here. The link is hireyourwebpa.com. That's basically an affiliate link here. If you do go through that service, it'll take you directly straight to Chris's Your Web PA uh, service. And also, too, I'll make sure I put a link just right down below this video. And if you're listening on a podcast, you can listen to it again. So I'll just repeat it again. It's hiyourwebpa.com and you'll be able to check out that service. Do you have any final words, Chris, before we wrap this up? And um, yeah. <laughs> I have absolutely no final words except for the fact that you're 30 uh, I'm approaching oh, no. my. You're, you're 30. I'm approaching you always my. Always do this to me. <laughs> and you have way more hair than me, and therefore I'm very jealous. Other than that, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> no, thank you very much for allowing me to, you know, come on the show and have a chat with your audience. It's great. And if anybody wants to reach out to me, uh, I also have another uh, website yep. which is based around outsourcing entirely, which is outsource to the Philippines dot com. You can come over and check me out there, and obviously my blog, virtualbusinesslifestyle dot com, as well. Other than that. It's just nice to be able to chat with you again. It's good fun. Likewise, fantastic. Well, guys, I'll put those links down below this podcast as well on the show notes and so you can definitely check those out. So, thank you again, Chris. Awesome to be able to speak to you and we'll definitely be talking soon. This is Outsourcing Lives Inside, Inside Info. Info. Recently, in the mastermind group that I have every week with a like-minded entrepreneurs and business people, we always share lots of tools and tips and I wanted to actually share this really powerful one to you or with you today because it, this can actually help you impact with your search engine results on Google. Just to give you a little background, Google Plus is a social network that Google has released and it's pretty much getting interlinked and interweaved into a lot of powerful things such as your Google website listings and also to such as getting your websites and your posts and anything that you put online ranked. So the more you put into the Google Plus, the more that you'll be found. Another addition to that is that Google Plus is now linked to your website which allows you to be able to show your avatar next to your result. This may not make too much sense or you might not be able to picture it but you're going to have to imagine this. But what I'll recommend you do is after this podcast, I'd, I'd recommend hopping onto your uh, search engine. So just open up a browser whether it be Chrome, Firefox, Safari, whatever it is and just simply type in the keyword outsourcing live. This is an example just to show you and that's obviously for me is uh, my website here 
and what you'll notice is the first listing is outsourcing live but right next to it, you'll see an avatar of me which is my picture and that particular avatar actually comes from my Google Plus account which shows me. <laughs> now, I'm not doing this just to sort of boast about what this is and whatnot but this is actually a very, very powerful thing which you can implement for your own website and also for your own blog if you've got a WordPress blog to link this straight up to your Google Plus account. And if you don't have a Google Plus account, I highly recommend you get it. And I'll make sure I put a link down below inside this post or this uh, the show notes to allow you to set up a Google Plus account. But what you can do is to link up your avatar to show right next to your Google search engine results. And as I said, just typed in outsourcing live and right now I can see just on my screen a little picture of me on the avatar. And the reason why I'm recommending this is because just from uh, statistics and also just from results that we've received from testing is that people click onto results which have a little image next to them. It's a lot more powerful than just having a text listing. So what you'll find is if you're doing a search result or search uh, or based on Google for any keyword terms such as maybe videos or whatnot and you'll see that some of the listings on Google show little images of people next to them like saying written by so and so, people more than likely will click on that link. Same thing, if there's a video there, a little thumbnail video, people see that will actually click on there. And even if your listing is ranked on the first page of Google and it's basically ranked number four or five and people see that, there's more that more likely that people's eyes will actually skim straight down to there and click on that link over say a text listing that may be ranked number one. So very, very powerful and I highly recommend implementing that. To do that, I'm going to actually provide with you right now a link that you can go to to either read up on this article which is provided solely by Yoast. He's a SEO expert and that's how I implement it and basically he'll show you step by step on what to do. I'd highly recommend outsource this to someone to do like your web developer because it does require a little bit of understanding and technical knowledge but all you need is two things, your Google Plus account and also your WordPress blog or your, your website. And to get access to this particular article, simply go to outsourcinglive.com forward slash Google profile. So I'll repeat that again, go to outsourcinglive.com forward slash Google profile and you'll be able to read up on that particular article which allows you to be able to set up your listing to have your little profile next to it and it comes up pretty much for any type of search result that people do on your website. So check that out and let me know what you think. Discover more resources to grow your business inside Mass Outsource Mastermind. Watch the video tutorials and follow the easy instructions to take your business to the next level. Start your 30-day no-risk trial membership at freevideoset.com. That's freevideoset.com. This has been Outsourcing Live with Tyrone Shum. Outsourcing the hard stuff so you can focus on the fun stuff.